this is something that I didn't know when I made my summon video, but it was something that was brought to my attention afterwards. And it's the fact that Kid Buu actually did get unique equipment. So because of that, we're going to hop into PvP and we're going to be using Kid Buu not on regen, but on powerful opponent. And the reason being is because I do have all the units necessary for a solid regen team, but I only have like Zenkai and Majin Buu at Zenkai, uh, not Zenkai 6, sorry, uh, Zenkai 3. So because of that, like, he's at the point where I could use him, but not as well as I would personally expect. So I'm going to hold off on that and just use powerful opponent. And plus, I mean, this team has a ton of powerful units on here as well. And I'm hoping that having two yellow units will kind of provoke the opponent to bring a red unit. So that way I can throw in Kid Buu more often. But anyway, let's do it. Now, do I plan on bringing in two yellow units? No, because, I mean, unless it's like mono purple or something, but... Uh, for the most part, I think we should be okay. Um, especially we have Jiren as well. Jiren has, uh, situational endurance if, uh, the opponent activates Rising Rush. Only thing I have to make sure is that if the opponent does that, it's against units that are, well, just mainly not the androids. So, uh, yeah, but if we can get that going, then I think we should be okay. And ironically, this counters two of the units I was planning on using, because I was definitely going to be using Jiren, and I was obviously I'm using Kid Buu. And the opponent has a yellow and a green unit, both of which have the ability to nullify endurance. Fantastic. Okay, and also Gohan too, who also has the ability to nullify endurance. So I'm going to have to lead off with you, uh, throw you in, and then throw you in. So, honestly speaking, out of all of these units, the unit I have to get rid of quickly is Super Saiyan 3 Goku. The sooner he's gone, the better off we'll be. And also... This is really bad for me all around because I can't rush until I uh, knock out Gohan's revival. I have to ensure that the androids survive. If they survive, then we're good to go. Because then I can just rush Vegito and he'll die. So you're still alive. Taking advantage. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Get a few strikes in there. This dude did not swap out Vegito. No, Jin. Again, if I have the opportunity to get Boo in, I will. Oh, that happened too... Like, that sidestep was pretty quick. But, um, it's... Wow, I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Whoa. Uh, I can probably take another hit. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, but the downside is I can already sense Rush coming very quickly. Oh, or not. Thought so. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, bro, throw me a bone already. Popping this because I know my key is just too freaking low. But again, the sooner I knock down Revival off of Gohan, then the better. Let's see what this can do. Knock it down! Oh, wow, that was actually really powerful. Jesus, okay, Kid Boo. Okay. Defeat you! Alright, I'm gonna back off. It, it happened too late. Oh, cool. You didn't follow up? Not complaining. Okay, here we go. Bring in androids. Yep. Okay, another strike. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can uh, trick this dude. I'll swap on purpose. There we go. And I'm going to rush. Because if I'm able to land rush on Vegito, this will wipe him out. And that'll settle the... Well, not the entire match, but a good majority. Good. Okay, because even with Element Factor disadvantage, this should still be strong enough to knock out Vegito. And since I rushed with androids, Vegito is gone. That's Endurance Nullified. If it wipes him out. Okay, good. Endurance nullified. You are gone. Uh, let's see. Do I want to get rid of Kid Buu? I'm still standing. Come on. You got to take it, Kid Buu. Please tell me that was not a crit. Hold on. There's no way that was a crit. Oh, I'm alive. Thank goodness. I thought it was for a second. 
Okay. Keep that going. Okay. And then wipe out. Go on. Tap out! Oh my god, he's still alive. Swap to Jiren. I was like, you, you can't swap out, so there's that. Okay, pop main. You're up against my power. I'm pretty sure he's gonna tap. I'm going for it. Or not. Yeah, if push comes to shove, I will sacrifice uh, Kid Boo. Oh, wait, I'm trapped. Live! Uh, don't gotta tell me twice. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, no, he didn't. Uh, no, he did uh, pop his ult on Kid Boo. He did pop his ult on Kid Boo. Okay, so this may not be good. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure this is still nullified. Oh, no, I'm, I'm good. Okay, we're good. No, we're good. Okay, he blast. And there we go. So, um, but we did utilize Kid Buu. Uh, we got to see the Key Blast damage. And we also got to use his ultimate on Gohan as well. It was extremely powerful, and it wiped out his, practically his entire first bar of health, which is really, really good. Um, and also, we were very, very lucky when we landed Rush on Androids, because if we didn't, then that could have turned, like, very south, very, or not Android, sorry, uh, Vegito. Because I... I'm so used to fighting androids with Vegito that it just instinctively came out as that. But no, we wiped out Vegito with androids very quickly. But again, that was the reason why I swapped on purpose to get Vegito in there so then I can just rush him because regardless of 18 or 17 being in, if we rush and it gets off and it wipes out Vegito, that's endurance nullified and he's guaranteed not. So, yeah. Okay, uh, this is going to be another tough team to fight against. We have... It's God Key. We have UI Goku... We have Super Saiyan Blue, Kaoken, Goku, and this dude can either bring in... Well, actually, with me having androids, it's more than likely gonna have to be Vegito Blue. It's the only thing that would make sense to me. And if that happens, then that means that Kid Buu has the ability to just go off without really having much to worry about. Uh, I would say Super Saiyan Blue, Kaoken, Goku is probably gonna be the most annoying because he seals strike, but for the most part, we'll be okay. Uh, the thing is, do I want to bring Jiren? There's too many units that nullify endurance on this team. Yeah, um, I, I might as well. Because uh, being able to take advantage of blast armor also does help as well. So if we're able to utilize that, then we should be okay. Please, Goku, Goku. Okay, so... No Vegeta, which is not bad. Uh, Rising Rush Fodder is very obviously Whis. So the sooner we get him out, the better off we'll be. So I just didn't pick strike. Okay, cool. I I just didn't select it. I can take your hits. Thought so. Yeah, cause like I I selected strike. I guess it just held it in buffer for five years. Okay. I should probably back off. Let's see. I can take a hit. No big. Okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be. Ooh. But I got a special skill, which is good. Okay, combos are lasting forever. I still have Jiren, though, so so long as Jiren stays alive, I'll be okay. No. Like, I have to be able to do something in quickly. That's, that's fine, I'll bait it. Here we go. Oh, boy. I'm doing that now. Not thinking twice. I need somebody to faint. He's already back in! He's already back in. Oh, my goodness. I'm taking advantage. Don't gotta tell me twice. Popping this now because I really need to heal. Key blast. Okay. Ultimate attack. Exactly, because this person has been sitting back with Whis for the whole time, which I know he's gonna pop his man. 
Oh, that damage is there. Hello? Nope. You really messed up. Strike! Swap! I just need somebody else to come in! If this doesn't tap out... Oh my god. Swap out. What kind of no-brained rising rush?! <laughs> Dude just threw it out! Like, I wanted to throw out my special move, obviously, but... Um, the reason why I didn't throw out my special move was because I knew he was gonna swap, and I was trying to get rid of Whis for sure. If I had, like, another, um, blast or strike or something of the sort, then I could have made something else work. Perfect vanish. Alright, here we go. The only downside is I can't do anything right now, either. Key blast. Yeah, all he has to do is pop his main. Uh, I have endurance, so let's see. All right, let's see, cause I know you didn't sidestep, so you shouldn't be able to vanish. Okay, cool. I'm gonna pick strike to see if I can actually fake him out. If I can wipe out this Goku, then I'm okay. Cool, cause I was about to pick blast. That should push him past the edge, and that should wipe him out. Okay, cool. So at least it's not a one-sided battle. I can take a few hits. Good deal. How many specials? Well, Whis is there, so. Don't gotta tell me twice. Of course. Makes complete sense. You're up against my power. I I'll sit back and I'll chill. Bam, bam. I can take a few hits. That's not a problem. Thought so. Bam. Here we go. And I'm LFing that. Like, I'm ending that right now. That was beyond rough. Wow. This is the end! Ah, oh, yes. The LF. The justice. Um, but, uh, in this battle, Kid Boo didn't really do as much damage as he should, especially against Whis, who's a support type. So, that was kind of yikes, but I'm pretty sure this is, like, very circumstantial. Like, I mean, not only that, like, um... This unit was relatively, like, buffed as well. But, uh, through and through, though, we still managed to win. I'm actually very surprised I do let off with Key Blast. I really do think they should have just tackled again. Because there was that, uh, potential chance that I would have, uh, done Strike Arts too late. And they could have vanished. And that would have, like, changed everything. But, um, yeah. But apart from all that, though, I mean, Kid Buu definitely seems solid as a blue unit. Like, that unique equipment definitely does help out a lot. Because I stand by saying that... Kid Buu alongside oh, uh, Kid Buu alongside Majin Vegeta was an LF unit that was really good, but didn't have their time to truly shine. You know, like they were they were there and they did their thing for a little bit, and then they were quickly forgotten, which is really unfortunate. So now with these you know you know a uh, unique equipment, you can come back on top now because I mean powerful opponent has what another offensive blue unit as well. Because if not him, then you're using Ella Broly, who also got unique equipment as well, which made him very powerful. I mean, he was powerful before, uh, before him, but still. Okay, let's see. This is going to be a much harder team. Mm. Actually, okay. Yeah, it, it's going to have to be these guys. Like, I significantly doubt those two are coming in because I have, you know, two yellow units, which I'm not going to be using. But I expect Gogeta and Vegito to definitely go in. And then, well, probably one or the other. We'll, we'll see. And then, obviously, Yoai Goku's there. He's absolutely going in. So, if I can wipe out Vegito, that will be fantastic. Gogeta. No. Yoai Goku. Okay. Um, I just have to trap Vegito, then. 
You have those aggressive eyes. Not worried. I have to win this. There we go. Woo! By eight. Not bad. Bam, bam. Dang that. Well, then again, I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, my uh, star can is, like, really, really high. Okay, cool. That one rebounded. Yeah, that that's going to be bad. That's going to be very, very bad. But um, it at least allows me to be able to keep the special skill, which I really, really need against Vegito. Oh, I happened too late. I had that too. I should have just vanished again. I'll swap now. This is probably going to kill. This move is extremely strong. And if this kills, it's a wrap. Woo! Yep. There we go. Also, dang, this dude's clash game is immaculate. Holy! Like, this dude's clash game is unreal. All right, if I can wipe out Goku, though, that will be fantastic. There we go. Goku should definitely be dead. Um, It also puts Jiren in danger, but... Uh, Gogeta already used his main. Oh, you're dead. Okay, cool. Let's see if I can get Kid Buu in. Take this. Ha! Oh, man, and I also still have androids, too. Oh, bet! Okay, because I thought dude was going to do something different, because the reason why I was like, oh, crap, I have androids is because I have 18 and who would get obliterated by Vegito. But this person really should have used their main, because since you use Endurance, or not use Endurance, you use Rise and Rush, and you didn't use your main at all, I have Endurance, I'm alive. So, no big deal. I mean, that's... Okay, I'm not really dripping. All right, K-Boo. Your moment to shine, bro. Do it, K-Boo! Okay, Wicked Martian. If this wipes him out, that'll be fantastic. Get the... out! Oh, ah! Hurt him! Oh, darn it. He's still alive. That's fine. Man, the, the downside is I really could not do much right there. Dead. Oh, my thing disconnected near the end. No. It's fine because we have replays. Okay. So as long as I can take this onslaught, I'll be okay. Uh, the only thing I have to do right now is just survive. Uh, get him to vanish once, land a combo, and I'll be okay. If I even survive that long. Oh, special move. Not good. Popping this now. Okay, pop this as well. I was about to say, I'm like, I need this to activate now. Oh, perfect vanish. Yeah, that might be it. Because what, that, uh, he's restoring key. That special move really, really hurt. And at this point, he can just get all the way up there. Because I don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough, which it is what it is. Um, also, I don't know why it disconnected at the very end, but I mean, it's whatever. I mean, if I can get the replay, I'll put the replay in there uh, to kind of fill up that gap. But, um, oh no, though, we at least did get to use Kid Buu. Um, I will say that uh, the unique equipment definitely makes him viable again, which is good. The downside is, well, I mean, to be fair, I was up against Ultra Vegito, right? I was really hoping that the ultimate attack would have been solid enough to kill and it didn't so that's unfortunate i also could have delayed it too but i really wanted to see if i could uh maximize um you know the combo and see if i was able to kill with it that because that would have been like a good display of how strong it truly is um but again boo's a range type vegeto's a defense type so if he's able to tank stuff like that it makes sense so there's that but we also did see like his damage against the likes of Whis 
and that really wasn't like too good either but the battle before that though his damage was really good so i don't know like for me it's kind of like i do see the viability it's definitely there but i would have to try powerful opponent a bit more or maybe he has better luck on regen i don't know i mean i, I don't know why anybody would use regen right now i'd much rather use powerful opponent personally speaking but um yeah the, the unique equipment definitely does help it is to the point where he is like viable in this current meta thanks to that equipment is he the greatest blue unit ever absolutely not there are plenty of other blue units out there that are much better than kid boo which makes other teams better options but if you do want to use regen or powerful opponent and let's say you're missing for whatever reason like senkai 21 or if you're missing um lf uh, full power super saiyan broly or something of the sort kid boo is a solid option point blank period but I do want to know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on LF Kid Boo and his unique equipment? Again, let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, I'm Adukuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.